Hello, everybody. All right. Hold on. Fucking don't talk. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Uh. Hey, guys. What's up? Welcome. Sorry. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Sorry. Okay. Hey, guys. What's up? Uh. Welcome to another episode of Trapped in the Basement. Uh. I'm Dog Godnet, aka Justin, Hi. aka Big Dick, and I'm here oh. with. Got a long name there. I'm Danny Dinosaur. No title. That's my that's my middle name. That's my full name. That's my full legal name. That's Big Dick. That's on my that's my, on my ID. Justin. Big, big Dick. Big Dick. Dog Godnet. Franklin. Coco. There I'm we go. I'm gonna need to see your ID for that one. <laughs> I always get every time I. Every time I fucking like get ID'd. I, I always get I always get like stopped. Like everyone's like, "Hey, this isn't a real ID." I'm like, "Look, listen, my parents were hippies. It's real, all right." But yeah. Sorry, can you say the full name again? Justin Big Dick. Justin Big Dick. Dog Godnet. Franklin. Dog Godnet's also in Frank. Oh. Um, Roosevelt. Theodore Jessica. Darth Vader. Hey, why did they? Why is there Jessica in there? Oh, uh, it's my uncle's name. Oh. Yeah, fam- <laughs> family was super, super progressive with their names. No, that sounds like you're on a cult. Yeah, um, well, my father is the devil, so could sounds like you explain like a lot of things. all those lives, and you've it just taken their names. Yeah, yeah, you know what? My, the list does go on a little long. And there's names like Judas. Uh, wow, we're going real back, like Bible times. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's weird. It's very weird. But you know, I don't question. I thought it. my name was weird. Oh, what's what's your name? What's what's fucking expose oh, uh, yourself real quick. Oh, uh, just Daniel Edward uh, Chabot the second, bigger dick. The, the second. Yeah, no, it's weird. Like that. It, in between middle names, I have seriously my dick is fourteen inches soft. I measured it once. Oh, it's fucked soft. up. Wow, why would your parent? Why would your parents name you that? I, I don't know. Maybe they had a premonition. It's okay. Both my parents have tattoos of the exact moment they conceived me. Oh, really? Like, like. like, like- Time, date, place, uh, uh, mood, uh, lighting. Okay. All right. They really set the scene. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, I don't know yeah, a lot of I parents. Yeah, I know I came into this world. Yeah. No, my parents showed me the tape of when they conceived me. And... Uh... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was sipping and then I took a bit went to process that. And I went... <laughs> Yeah, it's really like, it's one thing to film it, but to show the kid like, and then like, you would your dad like point at this one moment, and be like, "That's it, that's right there, that's you, that's you being born." Yeah, like, it's 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 actually titled something very interesting. It's um, it's on a web. Lucy McGuire movie. <laughs> uh, even Stevens movie. Um, it's it's titled something really interesting. They have it on a on a website. I guess it's a special like sharing website kind of like youtube it's called pornhub it's called down the hatch 11 i don't know if that's i don't down know if that's code 11 for something but yeah i don't know it's weird hang on literally typing that in right now one sec i just i want to see how you were born oh oh you oh your parents are some weird oh what, what is he doing with oh he's gonna put it in there Mm-hmm. yeah yeah okay. that's the thing mm. i really didn't think that was gonna fit no, really, me neither. Me neither. It's no what. I'm very impressed. Good for my dad. Your dad didn't even put it inside your mom. You are like, uh, your mom's the Virgin Mary. Yeah, it's weird. I was wondering why the woman. <laughs> Never. I'm not gonna say that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let's remember we're talking about your parents. <laughs> oh, all right. Whoa. So, how's it been? Oh, cool. How's it been? It's been a time. How have you been? I've been all right. It's been a, it's been a time since we since we recorded. I know because we our schedules apparently never line up. Never. 
absolutely really never. never. But at least we have time at one forty eight <laughs> to start fucking to start Dude, I recording. Don't even, I, I don't even have time for this. I'm literally making time for this because I love you, okay? I've been up all day working and then streaming, and then I have to be up early to receive Chad and Cody tomorrow morning. Oh, you're picking them I, up? Oh, no, wait, they're no, driving no. down here. They're driving down here, but they're getting here early. Then we're all going downtown Toronto early tomorrow, and it's going to be a big day. To, oh, my God, I'm literally just going to kill. And I'm sore from the gym, and I'm oh, just, honestly, poor I baby. Literally, shoot me now jam yeah i just i just had work that's it i finished work at nine and then i just sat by my computer waiting for you that's pretty much it did what just just looked at my computer screen <laughs> that's it <laughs> watching the background a few times. <laughs> changed the background a couple times I, I drew around in ms paint i watched my conception video a couple times uh, nothing mm. like nothing big nothing crazy down the hatch 11 yeah yeah. down the hatch 11 everyone look that up <laughs> no one look i no. i hope that's not an actual no one look right. that up it's something. actually real someone <laughs> will look that up <laughs> it's, a, it's a real title no one it's look that not, up. i'm not actually ever gonna look that up <laughs> oh yeah Good. I'm glad we we've touched on all all the basics, the regular human interaction topics. We talked uh, all the small talk, uh, conception, yeah, all that. That's that's pretty much it. Oh my god, I got. Yeah. No. Wait. Sorry. Just before we go to anything else, which day are you going to Fan Expo? Now that I have you, and I'll have a recording to remember it of. Uh. All right. So I am going to Fan Expo Saturday, August twenty fourth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry we can't all go four days like you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, someone's not giving you free passes? Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> I have all these 270 subs. Give me fucking free passes, Fan Expo. You didn't even enter my contest. I, I could have rigged it and just picked you, okay? I, you didn't even try. I already fucking paid for the tickets. Dude, you would have got three additional days. Oh, and a Batman lunchbox. Sorry I don't make ad revenue. I could either fucking get a Batman lunchbox or feed my family. Right? Dude, it's a Batman I don't even know if it's a Batman lunchbox. I, I didn't look at the prize. Dude, Hang on, let me a... pull up my Instagram post right now and read to you. What you actually missed out on, you is a freaking ba- idiot. Is a Batman lunchbox? Dude, I don't know. Hang on. Let's, let me read my own prizes because I'm that unorganized. Disorganized. Two weekend passes to Fan Expo Canada, one Fan mm-hmm. Expo drawstring bag, one Fan Expo branded lanyard. Is that how you say that? I can't read. Anyways, one lanyard. Fan Expo exclusive DC bombshells vinyl figure, one Fan Expo exclusive Mar- Marvel Venom tin. Oh, it's Venom tin lunchbox. Sorry, it's not fucking Batman. Oh, Venom's and- sick, though. Oh my god, gets well soon. And one Fan Expo exclusive <laughs> comic book variant cover edition. So. Oh, okay, that's interesting. That's actually pretty cool, dude. They have a they have a speed dating thing at Fan Expo. What? Yeah, that's oh my a God. real thing. Yo, that I didn't know that, but the girl who won my contest, the giveaway, her name's Melanie. She told me about it. She's like, cause she's uh, she's like, uh, cause she got she's going the full weekend too. That was part of the the giveaway. Yeah, and she's like, I might not have uh, anyone to go with on Thursday. I might just check out this speed dating thing for fun. And I went. What? Oh no! What they had that last year too. I'm remembering it now. Oh my god! I'm sending Chad in. Oh, dude, send Chad in. That would be. Hang on, wait. Hilarious. If the, if, okay, if you're going to Saturday, what are you doing Saturday night? Uh, probably going back to my listen. respective home and. Listen, they have a masquerade. Fan Expo. Yeah, at 9 p.m. at the Royal York. Oh, wow. Okay. That sounds like fun. A masquerade at the uh, Royal York. Oh, my God. Do you have to pay to get in? Yep. (laughs) Oh, fuck. What is You think the Royal York Royal Ballroom is free? The Queen stayed there once. First of all, I'm sure they didn't let the queen pay they'd be like oh the fucking queen's here 
keep your pounds, all right? We don't want that shit. Queens stay free. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I would think, okay, if the queen was like, yo, let me crash at your crib, would you be Dude, like... she's got money, of course I'm charging Would you be like her. 50 I'm gonna bucks. More, and she's going to be like, this is nothing to me. Yeah, well, maybe she's frugal. She's going to be like, this is ridiculous. These price, This price? Ridiculous. You're really charging me 50 bucks for a quesadilla right now? Yeah, Man. I make a mean quesadilla. You do. I, I can say that I've had a, a quesadilla that Danny uh, and Patricia made from Ed. Oh, shit. I don't know if I can say that. Can I say that? Yeah, no, oh, go for it. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> that Danny, Danny and Patricia made for me. And it was fucking, is very good. Is very good. I will give them that. Why couldn't you let me rock that, though? I could have been just, I could have been the, the mastermind behind that. You had to include I had Patricia. To, I had to give her, I had to give her credit. I have, of course, and I'm going to do that. Oh my god, now everyone's going to know actually, you reheated your quesadilla, and that's all I contributed. Actually, I'll argue that Patricia did most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did nothing except make myself a second quesadilla. Using yeah, her mix that's, that she I'm actually giving you too much credit for that quesadilla. <laughs> but, but would you pay $50 if you were the queen? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> It was it was a good case. Listen, I had two of those, and then I forgot to take my lactose intolerant pill, so I I promptly broke out the next day. So that's fine. Oh, thank God I left for that. Dude, it's just I break out. It's, I don't get digestive problems. I just, oh, I thought you meant I problems. thought you meant break out, as in like your like ass broke out, like you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Who describes? <laughs> Dude, I went to the Walmart bathroom and broke just out. Broke out. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I went to 7 Eleven I ate fucking too many churros and I just broke out. My pants right then and there. It happens to all of us. Sometimes we just sometimes we just break out in, in our pants. You know? Oh absolutely. That's not what I meant. I'm glad you thought that. Like, you thought you got out in time. Like, you thought you escaped the next I, morning. Yeah. You just but, escaped me looking a little less, um, a little less, uh... You slick. could say it. Attractive. Your skin. <laughs> you conceited bitch. Just say it. I, I was gonna say that I went, wait, now that I say that out loud, that sounds terrible. Oh, man. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Fan expo. It's okay. I told fun. I told a girl that she um she looked because um I was talking to this girl and my friend told she told her to her face she's like you're trash and like as a joke we're all friends like it's not mm -hmm. we're not actually bullying maybe we're bullying this girl I don't know yeah kind of <laughs> sounds like bullying but go on <laughs> and then and then I was trying to be nice so I was like you're not trash you're recycling because you can be reused and then I went oh my god that sounds so much worse now that it oh. came off my, like, out of my mouth. I, like I thought in my head, recycling meant like, oh, save the planet. Good. This is the <laughs> this is progressive. This is good. And then she ended up being more upset with me because she could be reused. And I went, that is not. I meant. Yeah, you basically called her disposable. According to her, I called her a hoe, and I went, okay, yeah, I guess I can see how you took that. I that guess way. I could I could see how you drew those parallels, <laughs> but you know what? I, your your heart was you can't really be mad at that your heart was in the right place so don't call a girl uh recycling i it's like my dating tip of the day yeah dating tip of the day don't <laughs> don't call <laughs> don't. a girl <laughs> recycling <laughs> don't break out on the first day and don't break out don't don't break out and wait till you get home Wait till you get home to break out, or <laughs> promptly excuse yourself if you feel a breakout coming. <laughs> Listen, you sit down with the girl, you order the $50 quesadilla, you're actually at my house. Oh Don't my break god. out at my house. Oh my god, dude, when I went to Montreal with Kelsey, we went yeah. to, oh fuck, we went to Baton Rouge, and dude. Wait, why? I don't know, I don't know why. I, I ask myself that. Almost you every went to day. A city of great food, and you went to the same thing you could get here. 
it was just it was just there honestly we were hungry Mancon rouge isn't even good here what, what it's not it's not but fucking stop judging me for my choices i just fucking this wanted like the time to you eat didn't something find you buy fire emblem three houses anyway continue your baton rouge breakout story which i'm sure that's what it's dude to, it's i i ate a fucking steak and i broke the fuck out kelsey <laughs> Kelsey was there. Dude, I almost got fucking cucked by the waiter. I came back. The waiter was sitting at my spot what? talking to Kelsey. And I'm like, what am I getting fucking cucked right now? <laughs> what? Why was he talking about? Like, hey, your boyfriend's been in there. I was, I was, I was gone for, I think, 45 minutes. Did, did, she, did the waiter just be like, oh, your date never showed up? Hey, my name's Chad. My name's um, Chad. I, I would never shit. Sorry, part of my life <laughs> break out on a first date. On a first date. Oh, looks like oh, looks like your boyfriend just broke out. Man, I see that happen too Wait. much here. Wait, sorry, you were in Montreal, so it was like, oh, your boyfriend, he, he break out. Uh, oh no, this okay. guy was this guy's from Ontario. Told oh, told Kelsey what? his life story. Oh my god! So you went to a Baton Rouge in Montreal, which we have in Ontario, and your waiter was also from. <laughs> did oh man! You even go to Montreal, or did you just like imagine it? Like Kelsey said, you were going to Montreal. She just drove you to Baton. As... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in Montreal. We're in Baton Rouge. Baton... It's French for red baton. Red baton. Wow. Oh my god, they have that here? <laughs> what? This Can't place see. is crazy. <laughs> I don't know if you can find an accent anywhere in Canada. Oh, I don't know. Maybe like Sault Ste. Saint Marie or something. May, may, that'd be the only spot. That and maybe Winnipeg. Because I, I don't like Winnipeg. I've never been there. I have no reason to hate it. But I just... I'm not no one going. likes Winnipeg. You can't make me go there. I'm not going. Dude, I fucking... In my old job, I had to be on these calls, and like there'd be people from Winnipeg on the calls, <laughs> and oh my god, all they could talk about was the fucking Winnipeg Jets, and I'm like, Shut that's the all f- they have. That's all they give it to. Them. All so- they had, and I I had to tell the guy, I'm like, Yo, shut up, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um. It's like, uh, I don't know, uh, the, one of the radio stations in Toronto, uh, 102.1 The Edge. No, it was Indy 88. No, it was one of them. I don't care. Anyways, a radio station in Toronto uh, was hosting a, uh, a flip the coin contest where you flip the coin you can, and they would pay for a uh, vacation for two anywhere in North America. This guy wanted to take a second honeymoon because they didn't go on a proper one with his wife to Hawaii. That was his goal. But if it lands tails, he has to go for a full week to Thunder Bay drive up himself and um oh that's horrible he lost and he had, to, he had to drive to thunder bay and the mayor of thunder bay uh which by the way for those who don't know thunder bay is this small ass town north in like more north ontario not like north north ontario but like it's north ontario it's very oh what's it Bord- it's bordering like oh man i forget i think it's closer to like minnesota like yeah it's not thunder like bay. It's not like near like anyways it's it's a fucking small town and the mayor was so excited he got in on this contest because it was going to be probably the first tourism they've had in in the last decade and he bought out a billboard using town money to welcome this guy and his wife when they drive into town on the side of the highway to drive in and he bought them the best the best hotel there which i'm sure is like a fucking best western So yeah, that's that, that made me laugh. And I went, man, there's some shitty places to go on vacation. <laughs> Thunder Bay and Winnipeg are those places. Are those places? Oh my god. And Detroit, but yeah. Anyways, yeah. Shout out to my aunt Mary who lives in Thunder Bay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't watch this podcast. <laughs> Don't watch this podcast. Oh my god, it's crazy. Who's it this dog man? Danny Dinosaur. Danny Dinosaur. Get me off the Google. Why? <laughs> Why are they mentioning me? I don't know you this know man. I need to buy canola oil. Canola oil. I 
don't know. I see that people write canola oil as their status on Facebook or something. You know when like someone someone's on like an old person's on Facebook and they're in their status bar but they're typing they think it's Google. Oh my god, have you <laughs> like they're searching up oh, something and it's just I saw, their status? I saw one like that today. It was like it was a Reddit post and it was like, What's the hardest thing you had to tell somebody? And like the the like that was the thing the start of the thread and then someone yeah, yeah. commented uh like telling my sister that like my dad died or that our dad died and then underneath that was warshish warsh <laughs> fuck warshish warshish is this the hardest thing you've ever had to tell warshishire warshishire shosh warshishire shosh feel like sean you, connery actual i'm, I'm never, I never, never said it out loud hold on i gotta i gotta look this up now dude okay so i work at a grocery store though do you know how many people i i've heard every pronunciation of that fucking word when people are like what aisle is the worst cheer sure sauce and i'm like worst and i can't even repeat it back to them like do you mean this i'm like ah it's the aisle six i just wrote w-o and worshire sauce that's the first w-o yeah Worcestershire you know, for some reason I thought Worcestershire sauce. What the fuck was that? Was that English? Sorry, Sorry can I get that again? Worcester or Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcester or Worsh Worcestershire. Worshipping sauce. Worcestershire Warp Warp Tour sauce. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> Warp Tour Sauce, sponsored by Blink 182, No FX, and fans. Off the wall. Off the wall. Oh my god. Dude, they're having their like 25th anniversary of Vans. And like my my job is like hyping it up so much. Like you could win tickets to it. I think the best thing is is that I'm by that knowledge that you just informed me of, I am older than Vans. You are older than Vans. You are one year older than Vans. How do you feel? Oh my god, how did people get around before that? I don't know. Like, did no one skate? <laughs> when, when was skateboarding invented? Like, the 80s? Apparently, 1990... Were you 1992? When Tony Hawk declared skateboarding for all. Yeah, there we go. Tony Hawk. Oh man, I miss, I miss Tony Hawk Pro Skater Two. I played that game so much for the N sixty four. It was such a good game. Like all the all the Listen, Tony Hawk I, games were so good. I never got to play that like ever. Like I was deprived of that. So I used to see friends play it and stuff, and I always wanted to play it. So the best thing I ever got, and this is a poor substitute, was when GTA Five came out. There's a skate park <laughs> on Vespucci Beach or whatever it's called, the fake fucking beach. And I, there's a skate park there, and I would take my fucking BMX that I bought from my fucking garage, and I would bike all the way out there, which is very far from my house in GTA 5, and just do, do flips off of do flips. I was playing that game. And I'd, I'd imagine the points showing up, and wow. then Tony Hawk would fucking come and give me a medal, and Obama was there, and everyone clapped. Yeah, sounds pretty much like what happens in, in Tony Hawk Pro Scare 2. Even Obama. Like, it's weird how they predicted it. They knew. Dude, I got to I gotta bring over Tony Hawk Pro Scare 2. We got to play it. I gotta, oh, my God. Please, you'll fulfill a dream of mine. I probably won't even like it, but I'm so excited. You probably won't. Like, it probably does not hold up at all. Yeah, well, let's do it. Let's We'll make a list of uh, stupid games we can play. That's on it. Um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 um, Oh man uh, Oh fuck that <clears throat> I just had a conversation about this too uh, Oh man It's a, it's a Nicktoon a gl Glob of Doom It's a Nicktoon game It's like I used to play a lot as a kid for the Wii And it's like Jimmy Neutron Danny Phantom Spongebob All in like Danny one Phantom, game okay. Yeah, there we go. I knew you'd like it from there. All in like one game. I even forget the premise of the game. I just know it was so good, but it was also so bad. It wasn't a racing game? It wasn't. They had a racing game too. Yeah, Sonic Adventure 2 also had a racing game, but um 
Wow, okay, I'm in. Fucking, I want to play any game that is Danny Phantom. Um, oh man. There, there's, so, there's so many stupid games. Oh. But, um, but yeah, we do we'll, have we'll to, we do have to do it for the people, man. For the culture. We gotta plug yeah. in an Xbox 360. We gotta play those, not arcade games. What were they called? Indie games. Indie games. Oh my god, you and I played some of the dumbest ones together. Like you, I remember I would literally oh. be like, Coco, buy the like, try check out the trial of this game. It's so bad. And then you'd be like, oh, I just bought the full thing. It's no ninety nine cents. I don't care no price. I cop it. <laughs> All right. It was added up. You bought a lot of those. A lot. I probably spent twenty five dollars <laughs> collectively on indie games. Oh, but okay, dude, I had white I noise. Of no Luca, no. Was... No Luca, no. White Noise was great, and they released White Noise too. And we all bought it on Xbox One, and then only played it for one day. One day, because um, you said, "Oh, we're gonna make a video on it," so we all bought White Noise too. Yeah, and then, and then, Aiden immediately said offensive stuff, and I went, "I can't use any of it." Yeah. Oh my god. So uh, that was a thing, and then there was also, uh, and then I remember Ryan bought like all the DLC for the game, and then we never played it again. Never played it again. But Ryan's notorious for that. Like, he just buys shit. <laughs> I don't know why. In Monster Hunter World, Ryan spent ten extra dollars on a blue haircut. Oh yeah, ten dollar haircut. Yeah. Ugh, wow. I, ten dollar blue samurai haircut. Blue samurai haircut. I can't believe he did that. Like, I can. I've seen the Amazon purchases he makes. I can believe that. Oh my god, <laughs> remember? <laughs> remember the group chat where he just fucking, like, um, he was, like, gonna spend a grand on Amazon. And he's like, but it's Prime Day or something. Yeah, dude, on Prime Day, do you know how much he spent this year on Prime Day? I he don't. He was telling me, he's, he's like, I bought a Razer phone. And I went, oh, yeah, he bought the phone. Make them? I was like, they still make those? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, the emo phone from the fucking two, like late 2000s. He goes, yeah. And I go, no, we're not. We definitely are not talking about the same phone. And he goes, you know, like the gaming phone. I went, okay, that's not. No, yeah, it's like I it's like Razer the of. company. But speaking of Motorola razors, they're coming out with a new one this fall. Oh fuck yeah! It's gonna look like the old one, but when you flip it up, it's gonna be like a full screen. I... What's on the bottom? nothing there's no buttons it's like a full screen and then you f flip it and it looks like the old razor so like a nintendo ds yes exactly I, like a I, nintendo I, ds i can't i can picture this dual screen <laughs> flip open and it's your 3ds and you're playing new leaf just kidding you bought three houses yeah literally the the <laughs> man i regret that purchase have you played it since? I have. I I'm I'm pretty like I'm pretty well in it. Like I haven't yeah? I haven't well, beat it yet, but I'm pretty I'm pretty in it. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's actually really good. The the guy EB Games. Okay, I I I gotta go see him again, dude. I almost fuck man. I like I've run into a. I almost fucked a man in EB Games. Uh, no, dude. I like. Ugh. I almost bought pop finals the other day of all five members of nsync there's five right uh joey fatone chris chris kirkpatrick jc justin timberlake just yeah justin timberlake chris I kirkpatrick jc lance bass joey fatone yeah five i didn't know that <laughs> dude i have a signed cd from nsync all right i think i know my fucking shit <laughs> <laughs> In my old apartment, my old basement apartment, it was just, like, when I moved in, like, it was, like, you know, blank walls, obviously nothing, but, like, in my bathroom, it was just, I had, like, a little, like, like, a little shelf above, like, just on the wall that, like, hold, like, toiletries and all that stuff and, like, toothpaste, whatever the fuck, I don't even remember what I put in there. Right. Like, Q-tips or something. And, but, and, like, the front of it is a mirror door and you just, like, open it up and it's, like, magnetized or whatever, but there was this in sync sticker that was stuck to it that someone clearly regretted and tried to scrape off but couldn't get it off and it what just, i just kept it there and i just would every time i'd look in the mirror nsync was looking back at me <laughs> <laughs> but like kind but like faded and scratched out but still there faded nsync oh my god that's amazing 
should have that you should have that at your place now if you buy me an N6 dagger, I will actually I will attach it to my mirror in my bathroom and then try to rip it off because I immediately will be like, this is so dumb, and then I can't, and it's stuck. And, and it's stuck. stuck with NSYNC. And faded NSYNC will be with you for life. <laughs> faded NSYNC's my best, my favorite version of NSYNC. <laughs> That's kind of like NSYNC now. Like, they're, they're faded into everybody's memories, but, like, deep down, they're still there. It's a metaphor. Like, we're all... We're all in sync with the memory, but like, every, every time you're there. every time you're in your, your bathroom, you just hear a very faded tearing up my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Timberlake opens up the cur- the shower curtain, but only halfway, because he's oh. he's faded. <laughs> just the ghosts of NSYNC are just haunting. But he you. has his blonde hair still. Okay. Oh Dude, you're in the shower. You're like, oh fuck, I forgot a towel. Half of J of JC just comes and gives you the towel. I got you, bro. He's just fucking crawling on the floor, just like, here you go, buddy. It's only half of me. Doesn't have legs. <laughs> oh my god. This is, this is the next horror movie. It's a house of. It's just like. Various insect members missing various fucking body parts, and they all crawl around the house. Oh my god, Justin Timberlake is fucking holding Lance Bass's head, and Justin Timberlake also has no kneecaps, so he's just <laughs> flopping. <laughs> have, you, have you played Human Fall Flat before? Yes, yes, I have. Everyone, all the insect members, walk around like that. Oh my god, and they just sing. That's all they do. But it's always like, it always sounds like it's muffled and like, they're like kind of underwater or something. Like, you're not hearing the full thing. <laughs> oh my god, it's like someone's playing it and speak, like on a speaker, very far away. Like on a speaker through a telephone. Like, someone's like, you know, when someone listens to music over Xbox Live, like in an Xbox Live party, and you can hear it, it sounds like really shitty. Mm-hmm. It's like that, and it like kind of cuts in and out as their mic picks up on it. It doesn't, and it, but it's always there, and you, you can never tune it out. Then but sometimes you, you hear their mom either. yelling for them. <laughs> sometimes you're like crunching of chips. <laughs> sometimes there's a vacuum running in the background. Mom, oh. no, no, oh my mom, god, five more minutes. That reminds no, you can't me. Pause an online game. <laughs> that reminds me of fucking me and Aiden were playing. Oh, this was a while ago. We were playing um, Rainbow Six Siege, cause like that's that when was he was like, ago. yeah, that's when he was really in his like Rainbow Six shit. And there yeah. was just this one kid, who, like he couldn't have been more than fifteen, sixteen. He was just going, "You never ever get your bitch back." You will never ever get your bitch back. And he just kept repeating this one line from a future song called Draco. Oh, okay. Because I was like, what does that mean? But and okay. he's just like, you will never ever get your bitch back. And then he, like, me and Aiden were talking to him. And, like, we we're kind of like, just fucking, you're just talking to this kid. And then his dad comes in and is like, Michael, what did I tell you about being on Xbox this late? And he's like, <laughs> Dad, I got school tomorrow. And... <laughs> Fucking him and his dad argued for 15 minutes, and then I just heard, No, dad, you can't do that, or you'll break it. And then it just stopped. Like, <laughs> he left. <laughs> You'll never get to conclude what I added, really went down that day. I added him as a friend he never accepted, or he just never logged on again. I wonder what happened. I wonder, did his dad break his Xbox? I don't know. What? What happened that? Oh my God! Wow. That's... What happened that day? Only God and possibly the authorities know. <laughs> Were you there the day that Gage's dad came on uh, Xbox Live to yell at him? No. Like you could hear him in the part, like through his mic. No, I didn't. Oh my God! Well, I. It's like the same story. We're all playing Minecraft together. This is a, <laughs> like this is like probably 2013 we're all playing minecraft together <clears throat> in the kingdoms world the world where i killed everyone good times coco betrayed me blah blah, blah great times anyways um and Wait, i'm building did i betray you or my ass or, or did i break out 
<laughs> broke out so hard when I needed you to not break out that day. Okay, okay. I just needed you to hold it in. Anyways, this was like the second world, so like way before the events of that world. And I'm building one of my castles. It looks pretty shitty. I, I built a lot of towers that resemble dicks and phallic objects. It's fine. But I'm building these dick towers. Uh, not relevant to story, just, you know, context. I'm building <laughs> these towers, and then over the mics, we're all just talking while building. Ah, uh, fucking, I'll hear someone yelling. And he's like, you never do anything. And we're like, oh, fuck, like, oh, shit. Like, he's getting, he's getting yelled at. And then he's like, dad, like, I'll, I, I did the dishes. Like, what do you want me to do? And he's like, I'm shaking my fucking finger at you. And we all burst out laughing. And then he's like, <laughs> what's that? Because <laughs> I guess you could hear Oh my and there's god. Nothing, and it just goes offline. I'm guessing he in a panic. He turned off his Xbox. I'm shaking my finger. Oh my god. My best my best story of Gage. It was um I think we found Gage on Facebook. This was Oh, this was so long ago. It must have been long ago of his Facebook. Yeah. So like we added him. And I remember the first like oh, status I saw from Gage was oh my god i wish i could find this now uh it was something along the lines i'm paraphrasing here but it's along the lines of i just got pulled over cop must have been gay i flashed in my dick and he didn't <laughs> give me a ticket or something like that oh my god no no that that definitely did not and happen. it's one like, of those I'm... posts that clearly <laughs> is a lie but I commented, I'm like, wow, way to go, Gage. You <laughs> got out of that ticket. Must have been a gay cop. What? That didn't happen. It's like, that's yeah, it was why like, I cop had to must have been gay. I flashed in my dick. Dude, what the fuck are you doing flashing your dick to cops? Oh why would you? That would never. Imagine trying that. Like, a cop pulls you over. And gay or not, you pull out your dick. It's just you roll the dice. Of- Dude, imagine even thinking that. Imagine even fathoming the fucking idea of you get pulled over by a cop. Your Wait, first was he soft or already hard? Like I don't know. It didn't say. <laughs> it's like why you would never reveal your soft dick to someone, but that means he was rock hard. Well, <laughs> pulled over. <laughs> Picture Gage just fucking like kind of like just like thinking of boobs really hard in his mind, and he's like, "Come on, come on, this cop's fucking gay. I know it." <laughs> he's looking in the rear view as the cops like getting out of his car, adjusting his belt, walking. I was like, "Boobs, tits, tits, melons, hooters, hooters, big one." <laughs> oh my god! Oh man! Okay, okay, we're good. Okay, hey, okay. hey, officer, license <laughs> registration. Oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> okay. See Here, okay. I left it. I left it in my pocket. Give me one second. Oh, oh no, that's my erect so penis. It's so erect. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so hard. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my god, I hope you're not gay. <laughs> this, ne- this literally never happens to me. <laughs> hope you're not gay. Oh my god. There we go. Oh God. Well, that's like Gage is like a typical example of like people on Facebook who like never, who like never leave their hometown, which doesn't isn't always a bad thing. But you know that type, they never leave their hometown, and then they just, they just post a bunch of weird shit on on fucking Facebook that's either like homophobic or insanely racist or. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So like that. That's why I had to get off Facebook. It was just. Oh yeah, Gage. <laughs> Gage, Gage seems like he's a couple Confederate flags away from being a racist. Let's be honest. Dude, dude my fucking one of my cousins updated his timeline picture to the Confederate flag. He lives in Alberta. I'm like, you're not even American. And I was like, okay, like I have to, I have to get off Facebook. I yeah, let's. Let, it, it's time to leave. And I never looked back. Man. But technically, we're all still on Instagram because Facebook, or on Facebook because Instagram, Facebook owns Instagram. So, really, there's no escape. Listen, I'm only on Instagram now. Shut your mouth. You're on Facebook. 
I'm not going to comment queen on your next Instagram picture if you keep this up. Oh, my. Okay. Hold, first of all, how funny was that picture? <laughs> 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 all right. I don't want to toot my own horn, guy. but. It's actually a good picture of you, too. Yeah, right? It's very, very flattering. Shout That's out. why I was like, this is a good picture of you. So I was like, fucking queen. queen. I was going to say yes, but then I was, you know. Then, and then, you, then you called me out for not answering your text, but only but replying commenting <laughs> on your picture. <laughs> Comment on Coco's picture. Literally, sixty seconds later. What? Let's see exactly what you wrote. Just, oh no, I just opened an article about the Amazon rainforest actually by accident. Uh, hang on. Um, Fucked up. What's going not, on with the rainforest though? I texted no, nothing. you. Nothing's going on in China either. Okay. Uh, what did I say? I, Never Get off of... Instagram and respond to my text. Please respond. <laughs> <laughs> I'm commenting on your picture and you're sending me. I'm sending you a text. I'm like, please, let's just get this done today. Please, God. Well, you commented or you made, you came to my stream and you were like, I, I texted, like, replied to my text. And I was like, you didn't text me because I looked at my phone and you, nothing popped up because I checked when you said that. It was right beside me. Mm-hmm. All I got to see was my sick no, I background in the Andromeda you, Galaxy. I texted you Sunday. And I'm like, oh, like, oh, I think I said, like, let me know when you're free or something. And you never let me know. Oh, I saw that one. Yeah, that was just my bad. <laughs> Fucking guy. <laughs> Anyone who's ever DM'd me ever uh, can tell you that I am the worst at answering messages. Oh, I know. How many How many unopens are you at right now for DMs? It's at a consistent 99 plus uh, message request, and that's, and it deletes itself every month. Like after a month's passed, the message request goes away. So that's in the last month. I, I, I can't answer them. It stresses me out. Oh yeah, like there's there's probably like too many to like get to. And like to be fair, some of them are just reactions to my stories. So like I, you know, like there does not much to need to be. You said can't there, really but... respond to those, yeah. But I feel bad because some people are like, we'll reach out and they'll write this, all these big paragraphs to me. And I'll try to respond to some of them, but like I can't respond to everyone. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. So, I'm sorry. I don't yeah. respond to my own sister. So. Yeah, there we go. You don't respond to your co-host. You don't respond to your sister. Nope. You're no, fucking... one is, no one is sacred. No one's sacred. Oh, no one. <laughs> oh. But yeah, you know what? I'm glad we're doing it now. I'm glad we... Can I just point out that um, this podcast, right before we started, you said the theme, the thing you wanted to talk about was a dog is alive. <laughs> and then instead we talked about $50 quesadillas. <laughs> Literally anything out. else except, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, a dog's life. Oh fuck, yeah. So I watched that movie and, <laughs> oh my I've god, the best way, the best way to describe it is like i just i just have this like app on my phone where like it plays like movies in theater like whatever okay whatever i'm breaking the law well big whoop i'll just what are you gonna do call the cops on me i'll just flash him my dick he'll be fine (laughs) (laughs) apparently that's how it works all cops are gay um (laughs) but yeah, anyways, so for some reason I decided to click on, I, I was so bored, I decided to click on A Dog's Way Home, and, okay, there's gonna be spoilers for A Dog's Way Home, so if you don't want to fucking listen to it, skip ahead. The dog doesn't die, but by the end of the movie, you wish it did. Like, what? it goes through, you. it goes through so much shit, it's like, just end it, just please, this dog's suffering. Like it's I... actually it's actually abuse the movie, so basically what happens is this dog whatever grows up it's happy it's like oh I'm Bella I'm Bella the dog like fuck off and like oh it, it was just a really annoying voice I hated the actress who played <laughs> Bella the dog <laughs> it was the chick from Jurassic World I fucking hate her. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, that got a little aggressive. <laughs> oh, fuck. So anyways, the dog fucking runs off, almost gets killed by wolves, gets fucking abducted by a homeless man, 
chained to the homeless man. The homeless man dies while the dog's fucking chained to the homeless man. And, like, he's right by, like, oh, fuck, I forgot. He's right by, like, a river or some shit. And she's thirsty. And she's trying to get to the fucking water. But the the guy's dead and is holding her back. And just, like, all this shit happens. She, like, ends up finding her way back home and crosses a freeway and gets hit by a car but, like, is still alive and, like, limps back home. And that's how the movie ends. I'm sorry. Why Why did you want to talk about this? Why was... I didn't. Well, I didn't. I, I, I said that as a joke, and then you brought up a dog's way home. <laughs> oh my god, I thought you wanted to talk about this movie, and I'm like, no, wow. we're just... Wow. Did... Yeah, nothing... Well, now you know the plot of A Dog's Way Home. You never need to see it. Yeah, I'm telling you so you don't have to. Oh my god, it fucking... It, it's just, it's depressing. I hate dog movies, though. I hate Marley and Me, uh, A Dog's Journey fucking whatever has a dog in it because you know what's gonna happen the dog's gonna die it's a money-making scheme just to fucking oh hey look at this movie with a cute dog now watch this dog go through hell and probably get ptsd (laughs) yeah man i'm the voice of all dogs fucking (laughs) well I don't like animal movies in general. It's like, what was this fucking movies about the dog? Beethoven, was it? <laughs> the only dog movie you know is Air Bud. What are you talking about? <laughs> I watched Air Bud my little brother, okay? It was fucking... It gave him hours of entertainment because he watched it a thousand times. I, I remember... I, I know Shiloh. I know uh, Free Shiloh. Willy, which isn't a dog movie, but I consider it the same category because oh. it's about a fucking killer whale dog. Wh- whales are dogs, pretty much. Dude, he had the same relationship with that. I never actually paid attention to Free Willy. Uh, I had the trading cards. I don't know where I got those, but I had them. The Free Willy trading cards. Dude, Noah, Noah is the only animal movie I'll watch. MVP, uh, Most Valuable Primate. I uh, don't know that. Do you really? Did MVP not come to Montreal or something? It was the probably the best fucking movie. Ever. It's pretty much like Air Bud, but instead of a dog, it's a monkey. Oh, maybe I've heard of that. Um, no, I've, I've never... I don't watch animal movies because I think they're dumb trying to, like, narr- Like, it's it's dumb trying to, like, narrate a fucking animal to do, like, scenes, but, like, animals don't act, so they're, like... Same reason in, in Game of Thrones why you never see the fucking direwolves anytime because, like, they're so hard to CGI yeah uh, like i i just i don't like animals in movies because you Wait, can't the, really the direwolves like weren't real animals. like wolves? animated animal movies are great wait hold up direwolves weren't real no oh did you hey santa's not real either dude wait are so are, it, were all the animals in that movie and that show not real so you tell me the the dragons weren't real no the dragons well, i mean the dragons were um they were lizards that uh, that uh, they just hot glued they... wings on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they got a little, they got a little figurine of fucking Amelia Clark, and they propped her on it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how they filmed Game of Thrones. That's why everyone hated season eight. That's how, they ran out of money. They ran they out of money. A Lego fucking a Lego castle of King's Landing. <laughs> that's why it broke so fucking easily. So, oh my god. Some of the characters were just Ninjago characters because they, they couldn't find enough Lego pieces. <laughs> John Snow walks and he's a fucking Bionicle. <laughs> <laughs> Bionicle, each set sold separately. Oh my god, Bionicle! You're welcome to just plug Bionicle for everyone Lego needs to pay me. There we go. Get this man his money. <laughs> I had one Bionicle. It's cool as fuck. Oh my god, Bionicles were sick. I don't think I ever I, had a Bionicle, but like my my neighbor had a shit ton of Bionicles. Dude, I had one. I didn't have Beyblade, didn't have Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but fuck, I had the Ice Bionicle. He had this cool sword arm. It was actually, it's. I feel really bad for him. He probably lived a very poor quality of life, if not being able to pick things up because he had a fucking sword for a hand. But you know, 
Yeah. <laughs> you, you want to pet a dog and just fucking... That's why you don't watch dog movies. That's why you don't watch dog movies. Because <laughs> the why you don't look like dads is like, kill him. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, man. Don't watch the new movie coming out, A Dog's Way Home, featuring the Ice Bionicle. <laughs> <laughs> Bionicle and me. Bionicle and me. Oh, my God. <laughs> you need to bring that back. We need to bring back Bionicle. Bionicle? Oh, my God. We need Bionicles. I hope... Anyone who's younger knows what the fuck we're talking about. If you don't, if you're under the age of, I want to say 20, if you're under the age of 20, Google Bionicle and then yeah. immediately oh buy one. You're going to want to buy all the Bionicles, throw all your Roblox away. Roblox aren't physical things. Roblox is a game. Can you not, is there a physical toy for Roblox? I yeah, I'm sure there toy. is. I'm sure there is. No, I... there is. There definitely is. Like at Toys R Us, there's like Roblox like th- things. Like there's Roblox toys. There's, thi- there's, there's things. Also, you can buy you can buy Fortnite's at EB Games now. So. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. Fucking. I have a great idea for a new Dog God video that no one will watch, but it'll just be good for me. You playing saw... with Bionicle action figures that you don't own? Oh no! Everyone will watch that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what will get me monetized. <laughs> Bionicle figures that aren't mine. Sneaking into my neighbor's house to play with his Bionicle. Gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just the in-sync house. <laughs> <laughs> Very muffled tearing at my heart is just on repeat. Good. <laughs> no. What sorry, what was this video I did? <laughs> There's, like, boxes at EB Games for, like, 14 bucks of Fortnite trading cards. They have Fortnite trading cards. Yes. And I want to unbox them so bad. Dude, buy me a pack. I will literally unbox it. There we go. There we go. Opening up Fortnite packs with Danny Dinosaur. We'll do that. We'll, we'll, we can open them together. Okay. Just... Actually, you know what? I, I work tomorrow. I'll go buy them. <laughs> I'll stop by EB Games on my way to work. Dude, it'll be better than the purchases I've made at EB Games, which are uh, just two. I bought in two separate 50 cent water guns from EB Games because I, I found one once and I went, why is this being sold here? Oh my God, it's only 50 cents. I'm going to buy it. And I bought it. And the guy looks at me and goes, just don't paint it black. And I went, it's like neon yellow. I was like, why would I? Okay. What? You fucking psychopath. And then I bought another one off the same guy three weeks later because they got another one. And he goes, Yeah, someone bought the other one. I went, Yep. Yeah, weird. And Did I he also too, tell you don't paint it black? Dude, he didn't bring up the weird comment this time. Oh, really? Maybe you just look slightly sketchier on that first day. <laughs> thought I was going to fucking shoot someone with this or pretend to. Yeah, oh my God. Just fucking. You're walking around, walking around the mall with a water gun. Oh my god, I'm bringing the water gun to Fan Expo. I'm filling it with vodka. Coco, open your mouth on Saturday. Oh wow, that's that's actually kind of funny that you said that. Open your mouth on Saturday was another video that my parents made with my si- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, looking up that one. Open <laughs> mouth on Saturday, featuring Bionicle Ice. Featuring, ice featuring the Ice Bionicle. <laughs> this is my oh, parents man, getting stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to make love to his lover, but he keeps hurting her. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he hits her, it makes the Roblox oof sound. The Ice Bionicle gets divorced. <laughs> featuring... <laughs> it shows him in divorce court from the fucking Fire Bionicle. The fire bionicle. No, the fucking, the fucking chicken from Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Match me in heaven. Oh my god. Oh, someone needs That's to make this. Thing. Yeah, I just don't know what it is. I never. Pl- I played Five, Five Nights at Freddy's once at Ryan's house, and I went. Uh yeah, this is like it's scary. Like, cause pop ups are you know everyone thinks pop ups are scary, but like I'm like I don't even know. Yeah, it's whatever. It's yeah. They're on like their sixth one or something. Like, 
what can you keep making Five Nights at Freddy? Like ooh. they have they have like a sister location. I haven't played any of them. I don't follow any of them, but I've seen like I keep seeing them pop up because every once in a while YouTube's like, do you want to watch Markiplier play the next one? And I I'm, I like Markiplier, mm-hmm. uh, but I'm like I don't want to watch you play Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, uh, dude, fucking I keep getting the game theory videos. It's like <laughs> I'm like Matt Pat. Is that all you do? <laughs> fucking Five Nights at Freddy videos. <laughs> His fucking favorite. They, they, those were stupidly popular for so long. Oh yeah, it's so long. It's like fucking. Oh my god. I look back at People, some of the trends and I'm like, that's so weird. How like that became popular? Like Happy Wheels. Happy Wheels was oh my god, huge. Yeah. Happy Wheels, the fucking Flash game. The Flash game, yeah. Um, dude, I used to play that in high school. Like fucking Dude, I pl- in contact class um, no i didn't I, I used to watch my computer used to be i played on a fuck i had a windows xp for a long time because uh hi i'm poor uh and i it wouldn't run happy wheels but i used to watch uh, what was the fucking channel it wasn't pewdiepie it was uh there's japs uh, jack septic guy markiplier did it those were the big guys oh it was to uh, you... yeah before he did all those bad things uh, allegedly <laughs> <laughs> before he allegedly did all those bad awful things dude i, I met him. him dude last you know year so he was at fan expo no wait where at fan expo i'm not going <laughs> i'm gonna shoot fucking tobuscus with my painted black tequila gun oh my god and then uh my f- me and my friend uh got or no it was just my friend i didn't do it uh because i thought you had to pay but my friend was going to take a picture with jessica negri didn't even know who jessica negri was i'm like nah i'm not paying this year like whatever some cheap um but i guess her boyfriend walked away because like that's who was doing it her boyfriend like who was taking the money which imagine doing that that sounds like a pimp but yeah. yeah dude imagine doing that and but whatever man honestly they're getting their bread wow. it's good um yeah. and so anyways i guess he walked away and she thought that my friend paid so he got a free picture with jessica negri is she going to fan expo no unfortunately not bummer i my cousin victoria uh has a couple pictures with her but i don't know if she paid her she probably paid her, to be honest but yeah man i don't know it's um I know, I know I have to go see some um, fucking Samwise. Samwise Game oh, I'm, oh, my God. I'm going to see Samwise, too. Okay, let's go together. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. We'll do it together. I'm so excited for Sam. I want to see Samwise. And then I also wanted to meet the voice actress uh, for Zelda from Breath of the Wild to tell her that I hate her. Uh, I wanted to meet... Um, uh, I uh, wanted to meet Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser. And get oh, him to ooh, sign Brandon my Fraser. VHS of George of the Jungle. Brandon Fraser would actually be fucking sick. Uh, I would like to meet... Uh, I'm pretty sure the voice of Goku's going. Um, oh, Sean Chamel. He's really nice. Yeah, I fucking... I've loved him for fucking ever. I just want him to... All I want to do is get him to quote the scene where Goku goes Super Saiyan 3 so he can lose his voice again. Um, oh, he, he uh, told people he's not doing that. Like, I went to go see um, uh, Chris Sabat, who was the voice of Vegeta, and they were... They were like beside each other, and someone told them to do that. Hey, can you do the quote for, for the where Goku goes Super Saiyan three? And he's like, no. <laughs> yeah, because like he, he legitimately lost his voice while recording, and that. he passed like, out. I, I was a joke. I would not actually ask him to do that. I just want him to say anything. <laughs> no, um, fucking oh man, I got Chris Sabat to say my favorite Vegeta line, which was oh when he's fighting uh i think he oh, goes I, I remember i saw your video of this yeah mm-hmm. was it the uh it's when he an turns super or whatever super super saiyan or what they what they call it again it was like mm. it wasn't super saiyan 2 but it was a step above super saiyan is when him and trunks got like super saiyan. yeah ascended super saiyan or something and he goes like tell me has a machine like you ever experienced fear yeah that's like iconic though oh that was amazing when he fucking 
kicked Android 19's ass. I want fucking Breath of the Wild Zelda to say anything and then just be like, that is, can you not do that fake British accent you have? <laughs> she says one line, shut the fuck up. Why didn't you just use your normal voice? You, ugh, it's, and then there's also, um, I, the only other person I want to meet is, the, I forget his name, but the actor who plays, you, have you seen Luke Cage? Yeah. The actor that plays... You know, you know Luke Cage, the uh, the show on Netflix, the yeah. Marvel show. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. Wait, sorry. Did, I, I think you cut it. Did you see it? Yes, I I saw it. Oh. Okay. Well, I want to see that guy. Oh, Luke Cage. Well, I've never seen it, but I want to see that guy. Yeah. Why? Why do you want to see that guy? If you've never he seen plays... Luke Cage. <laughs> no, because he's he's um. He's the Spartan, one of the Spartans from Halo 5, which I'll be at the worst game, but he's the only Halo reference there right now. Oh, really? He's, oh, I didn't know that. He's Spartan Locke uh, from Halo 5. He's the main, he's... He's, he's Locke? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, man, that's crazy, actually. Um, I want to go see Samwise. Uh, I want to go yep. see Brendan Fraser. I yep. also want to meet... Okay, have you ever seen my dad? No. Okay, he looks just like Steven Seagal now. And St- <laughs> and, Steven- <laughs> and Steven Seagal's going to be there. So I want to I want to take a picture of Steven Seagal and just fucking just say with I just want to see dad. my dad. <laughs> I just want to see my dad again. Going. I just want to I just want to <laughs> see him one more time. <laughs> Through Steven Seagal. Oh, man. That's all right. Better than my dad. My dad's a bionicle. <laughs> my dad has swords for hands. Never hugs me. That's why he can never hold me. <laughs> why didn't know how I got these scars? My dad. He, my dad. He was a bionicle. Was... He, didn't, he meant well, but he just could not touch me. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, Fan Expo's going to be a good time. Fan Expo's going to be a really good time. I know. I'm super excited. I'm going tomorrow morning. Oh, God. Oh, oh man, I'm yeah, I'm going real soon. Yeah, you. <laughs> we're at uh, we're at an hour. If you want to wrap, dude, I can freestyle. Uh, yeah, let's wrap it up. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna give you a beat. All right, and you're no. going to. Oh God, here we go. Okay. You're not you're not hey. hopping in, dude. Okay. Oh wait. Okay. Sorry. Are you beat, beat it? Kate <laughs> <laughs> just came onto my TV, by the way. Actually, oh my god, my, like, it just promoted it. I have Netflix in the background. Great uh, beat. I can't think of a rap. Sorry. Uh, just when Next you said time. when you said beat it, it reminded me of a meme. <laughs> it's like when you're on the like, <laughs> when you're on the fifteenth page of Pornhub, and then it's just Mike Jackson's beat it. <laughs> Oh, I mean, at God. that point, you might as well just, you know. Please, to fucking, I gotta be more professional. What? My dog got an Instagram. Just don't look at my likes, everybody. <laughs> dude, dude. Sometimes I wonder, like, if people see like creep the shit I'm liking or commenting on. Like, sometimes I get in full blown Instagram like fucking comment wars. Oh my God, Ronnie! Fucking shout out, Ronnie. Sometimes she'll like she'll message me after i like something and she's like what the fuck is wrong with you and she'll send me the post back and i'm like why are you looking <laughs> my, my my likes consist of uh fucking birds pomeranians and halo memes and then occasionally something like really fucked up hold on let me go through my fucking my, my likes explore is all uh like parrots budgies and uh halo memes uh, yeah, my likes are like sometimes some like kittens, because like kittens will pop up oh, on yeah. my feed, oh, and yeah. oh man, just adorable. And then just weird ass memes, like I don't, I don't get it. Like it's just a distorted picture of Peter Griffin, and it says, "What the fucking fuck is coleslaw?" And I died at that for ten <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Dude, no, that, that's that's the best. Those are my favorite memes. Shit posting memes. I follow so many shit posting pages, and they fucking kill me. Oh like my the god. stupidest shit is funny to me. Hilarious. 
all of these. Also, h- hang on, I'm sending you the fucking the best meme I just found in my explorer, and you have to put this up at this moment of the podcast. Like, just cut to this right now. What's your fucking name on my? Hang on. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm waiting. Uh, it, just this. This is all you gotta do. This is first thing on my explorer. This is my total explorer. Oh, okay, that's that's actually pretty good. That's uh, that's yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll put that on. That's what Gage looked at before that cop walked over. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well, you know what? This has been fun. Yep. And with that. <laughs> and with that. That will... summarizes a dog's way home. <laughs> and in conclusion, Dog's Way Home was a good movie. Um, also, speaking of good movies, go watch Good Boys. It is if you're of age, or you're with that a guardian. No, Good Boys is uh, it's kind of like Super Bad, but with sixth graders. It's produced by Seth Rogen. Good boys. All dogs are good boys, except for my friend's dog, Rocky piece of shit but... is she a good girl no it's just a piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> okay fair yeah some dogs are fucking little shits okay <laughs> <laughs> why <laughs> okay well thank you everybody you're unchained from the radiator and you're free to go until next time uh thanks for coming to the basement it's we need a dehumidifier down here for when the cold season comes in because, wow, it is moist. Yeah, if Damn. anyone wants to uh, donate to Danny's Patreon or my premium snap so we can get uh, like a heater or something. Something. Literally anything. Um, Food. I'm pretty sure I have scurvy, possibly dysentery. I've been breaking out like crazy and I just noticed blood, so. <laughs> And I, I, I broke the bathroom when I broke out, so. And and now the souls of NSYNC have been released and have been running <laughs> rampant. So please send help. Bye. Bye. Toodaloo. Cheerio. <laughs>